Hey, I'm Jason. Today in the lab, it's all about torque wrenches. Now we've tested the most advanced torque wrench in the world, the Atlas Copco STR wrench. But quite frankly, this makes things a little too easy for us. So we're going to talk about some different styles of torque wrenches, but what we're going to do is build a torque wrench out of the simplest thing we could find, a two by four piece of wood. All right, so before we start building our torque wrench out of wood, let's look at the different types of torque wrenches that we have out in the field. We've got the click wrench. This thing, pretty simple. There's a spring mechanism in it, but it can be a little operator dependent. We've got breakaway wrenches, where we actually break the beam on this. We've got cam over wrenches. There's a whole slew of digital torque wrenches, including the incredibly awesome and advanced STR wrench. We're not gonna use this. This is the style we're going for today. This is called a deflecting beam wrench. There's way more types of torque wrenches I didn't even talk about, but this is by far the simplest type. If we do a quick demonstration on this, we can see that there's a couple of components here. We've got a dial, we've got the beam, this part's actually gonna bend, and we've got this indicating rod that's actually gonna point to the torque value that we get to. So if we put some torque on this bolt right here, we can see as we turn it, we're slowly building up and we're getting more deflection out of this beam right here. This is what we're gonna try to replicate with a two by four. All right, before we begin, Let's do some quick tests to see how much bending we get with a two by four. Let's check it out. All right, so we've got my garage sale deflecting beam torque wrench set up here. You can see the dial when I push down on this handle. The indicating rod stays straight, the beam bends. This is gonna be our deflecting beam. This is gonna be my dial rod. It's about 40 inches long. I wanna see how much deflection we get with a two by four to size this thing correctly. So let's see, I got my height gauge set up here. We've got about 40 inches of distance here. Let's see what happens when we put some force on here. <laughs> All right, so we got an obvious problem here. We're gonna have to watch out for gnarly knots in the bending section of this beam. Let's check out the lumber selection and start building. All right, back to basics. We've constructed the deflecting beam two by four torque wrench. We got a half inch square drive on this side. We have a mount for our indicating bar here. Actually, the only thing that's left to do is put the marks on here to the right torque values. And we're gonna do that right now through a calibration process. So looking at a little bit of the detail here, we really had to thin down this section in order to get the resolution of bending that I wanted so we would have some accuracy in this torque wrench. We've limited the overall torque capacity. I was targeting 100 foot-pounds of torque because that's the torque that the wheels on my car take to install. All right, so let's take a look at our calibration setup. This is an inline rotary torque transducer, what we call an IRTT. This is a super accurate way to measure the output of our torque wrench onto a test joint and actually measure the torque going into this joint. This is good to 130 foot-pounds. We're targeting 100 foot-pounds, which is what I hope we can do with this wrench. We're gonna output the reading from this transducer on the screen. Once we get to 100, I'm gonna mark the, uh, the wrench here for that position, and then we're gonna try again, and hopefully without looking at the screen, be able to take this thing right up to 100 foot-pounds so we can actually use this as a real torque wrench. Let's check it out. Okay, you ready to test this thing out for real? <laughs> All right. There. Oh yeah! <laughs> there it is. Two by four torque wrench. All right, so there we have it the two by four torque wrench. 
we recreated the most simple kind of wrench, the deflecting beam wrench. It would probably have been easier to use the one I bought for a dollar at a garage sale, but here we go. You can see the principle of this. This is based on simple physics. We have a slender section here that's meant to bend. The amount of bending is proportional to the amount of torque we're putting into this wrench. That's why we're able to accurately read the output based on how much deflection we read off this dial. So, simple torque wrench works some of the time. I think if we were to check this tomorrow, the humidity in the air and the temperature might be slightly different. This thing is not guaranteed to be accurate. If you need a more accurate torque wrench, especially one with some really advanced features, you're probably better off using something like this. But. We'll check that out in a later video, and for now, we'll see you next time.